Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you how you can defend a taller player in basketball. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today what I'm going to show you is a different ways, some different ways of how you can defend a taller player. Now, myself I was always a taller player up until around grade 10 and then everyone kind of spurted up past me. I was six foot in grade six. I was six foot two in grade eight. I was tall, I'm still six foot two. So I was, I was tall. So I was always guarding the taller players on the other teams. Now I was always taller than them anyways up until about grade nine. But getting into grade 10, grade 11, I moved down to like a forward and then into a guard later on and I was still, called on to guard those taller players because I knew how to guard them. So this is how you get to guard them. So when the player is out on the three point line, now a lot of tall players, uh, especially if they're a center may not be out here, but if you get stuck guarding a guy out here, the first thing he's gonna wanna do is to get to that rim. How is he going to do that? One of two ways. If he is an advanced player, he's gonna try and do a jab step and try to drive one way or what's gonna happen is if he's not an advanced player, all he's gonna do is put his back to you and he's gonna try and back you down to get down to that post. Now, if he's backing you down, a very simple way is just to take a charge. Now, if you haven't seen the video on the basics of the rules behind basketball, I posted that about a week ago. Basically, what it is, is you stand still, you plant your feet, and you take a flop or you fall. Act like the guy hit you, act like he murdered you. But anyways, that's a charge and you'll probably get it called for you. Now, if he is an advanced player and he's up top and he's not gonna back you down, he's gonna do a jab step or he's just gonna go and drive or maybe use a screen, what you need to do is get lower than him. So as a defender, you wanna get lower, you wanna keep your shoulders below his that way he cannot drive by you and if he does you're still going to be faster than him now in the post if you get switched off or if you're if it's your job to guard the taller player like for example if you're six feet tall and this guy's like six seven it doesn't matter if you're heavier than him he's still going to be able to get you down he's still going to be able to reach around you and do something jam it on you something so one way that you can make sure that he at least doesn't get right to the rim and dunk it on you or get a layup is on defense to stay lower than him and personally what i would do is get lower than him take the baseline away that means direct him towards the middle of the key the reason why you want to do this is it brings in help defense so if you can bring him and he wants to take a shot here, but now you've got a wing player or another post player who comes over and plays help defense, that means that now he has to score on two players. But if you're lower than him and you're giving him the baseline, he's just gonna go, thank you, drop step and jam or layup or reverse or something. So you always wanna make sure that he goes to the middle of the key. That way, when he gets that ball, he wants to go bang and up but there's gonna be hopefully a help defender coming. Now out in the, in the mid range area, if he gets the ball out here, very similar to how you would guard him out on the perimeter, you wanna get lower than him. But again, the same idea as in the post where you don't want him to go baseline. If you let him go baseline, he's gonna go baseline and you, you've just given him a layup or a dunk or something. But if you give him middle, if he gets it, and now he has to go middle, now he's got maybe a wing coming down, another post player coming out, and theoretically, historically, big man can't pass. Now, I, I don't know what happened to my camera. All of a sudden, memory card failed, so I hope that these videos still worked. But anyways, if, the, if it hasn't, I'm gonna be screwed either way. So here's the rest of the video anyways. So theoretically, they have not been great passers. So if you allow them to go down to the middle of the key, they're gonna not be able to pass off as fast. The other thing is a lot of centers can't dribble all that well. So by making them dribble to the middle of the key and now they're getting multiple defenders coming at them, they're gonna most likely lose the ball a lot more. Now this also works when you're playing in a zone defense as well. 
So I hope that you have liked these, these tips and tricks behind how to guard a taller player. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, let us know in the comments below how these worked for you, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.